The Child Care Provider Expansion Initiative, the Application Guide to Funding. In this video, we will give an overview of the expansion initiative and talk through eligibility for the award, specifically focusing on the funding that is available and the timeline. How much funding is available? In the chart below, you can see the startup awards for child care deserts and employer partnerships, as well as startup awards for infant care. The amount of the award is dependent on the type of program and the increased capacity. If the provider only meets the infant increase criteria and is not located in a child care desert or has an empo employer partnership, they will receive $2,000 per infant slot. However, if a provider is increasing child care slots while in a child care desert or in an employer partnership, they will receive the awards based on the increased capacity, along with the $2,000 per new infant slot as an add-on. How much funding is available? Providers in deserts or partnerships who are only increasing capacity to serve infants will have their initial operating award calculated at the 75th percentile of the average daily rate for infants. Those in deserts or partnerships who are adding capacity for both non-infant and infant slots will have their initial operating award amount calculated at the 75th percentile of the average daily rate for all ages using the total new capacity created. The market rate used depends on provider type and the type of capacity created. How much funding is available? Providers are encouraged to use the funding calculator to view their estimated award amounts for the Child Care Provider Expansion Initiative. To estimate your award, use the funding calculator located at www.childcare.com texas.gov slash child care expansion. Funds can be used on staffing costs to support operations while ramping up to full or expanded enrollment, indoor, outdoor, and office equipment and furnishings, permitting fees, for example, for CCR or as related to inspections, regular rent, mortgage, and utility payments, education, classroom, kitchen, and safety materials or supplies, outreach costs associated with recruitment of families and staff, and minor renovations, while construction of new facilities and major renovations are prohibited. The spending window begins on March 1st of 2022. That means providers can receive reimbursement for eligible expenses already incurred or can receive funding to support their upcoming startup or operation costs. The application opened in July of 2022 and will be accepted on a rolling basis through December 31st of 2022 for deserts and infant-only applications. Deserts and infant-only providers can receive startup award funding through March 1st of 2023 and initial operating award funding through September 1st of 2023. Partnerships can receive both awards through January 31st of 2024. A provider may spend their startup and initial operating award amounts within the same month or combine some funds from both of their awards to cover a larger expense. The spending window ends on March 31st of 2024. In the next video, we will review the application process. Tools and resources are available. The program site can be found at childcare.texas.gov slash child care expansion. Questions can be sent to expansion at civstrat.com and business coaching resources are available at childcare.texas.gov.